very, they have pronounced themselves and are very clear that you must incorporate recycled content in your packaging. So these are the standards. We have started making standards to that end. Like at the moment, we are working on a standard for this, what we call PET or polyethylene, the rectality, the common bottles of soda and water. So we are developing a standard so that we can use some of that recycled material in the bottle. So you soon see that the water bottles, the soda bottles have a certain content of recycled content. Uh, long term, we would like to see bottle to bottle where your soda bottle, water bottle is uh, recycled. In fact, we are moving to what is called circular economy where there is no waste. You, you have things going round and round. So there is the target of incorporating like 20% in 2025, maybe 30%, 40% as, as we continue. So we are going to reach a point where we, we are using as more recycled material as possible. Of course, in, uh, that is a uh, plastic. I'm talking more about plastic because that's where the major issues are. Uh, most uh, companies around the world, like Coca-Cola, Nestle, Unilever, and others, they have pronounced themselves that by 2025, we should have a certain percentage of, re of recycled. By 2030, a certain percentage. 2050, a certain percentage. And eventually, reuse everything. Recycle or re recycle everything. So the, there are those technologies that are developing. That's plastic. But paper, there is a lot of uh, recycling and reusing. So it doesn't have uh, a lot of challenges. But there are still some challenges. When you come to glass, glass is, uh, as you know, it is recycled all, over the, all the time, and uh, when they break, they are easily recovered. Metal is uh, the same. So they are, the industry is alive to the fact that uh, sustainability is here to stay, and it will not be business as usual, <laughs> if you want. You see, uh, the, the, the objective of the summit is sustainable packaging for brands. You know, if you are a brand, you want to be there for a long time. You want to be there for many generations. Coca-Cola has been there for 130 years. So you want also to be there on the long term. So your packaging must evolve accordingly. So brand managers have to look for new technologies. And exporters are even in a more precarious situation because if you are talking of the US where they want a certain percentage of recycled and you are not preparing for it, so that means you are not going to enter those markets. And uh, that is where, that's why this summit is so critical. Uh, talking about the summit, let me, let me get back to the summit. Uh, what are just some of the key areas that will be covered during this particular summit? Well, uh, one of the key areas, of course, is uh, sustainability, design for sustainability. When you are starting a pack, when you are starting when you are starting a pack, when you are starting to design a pack, you design with the end in mind. After the pack has done its job of bringing, uh, containing, preserving, protecting the product, where does it end? So we have a session on uh, designing of sustainable packaging. So that is uh, one of the key areas. The and recover, there will be marketing issues of branding which will be discussed. The choice of materials, the process of packaging development. We shall have uh, some guys from WPO talking about this AfriStar I mean, uh, World Star, Afrista. Incidentally, we have the vice president of World Packaging Organization. Exactly, where I was, where I was headed. Uh, was just yeah. uh, who are some of you know, the, the, the keynote speakers who will be attending? We have uh, the vice president of World Packaging Organization is coming, is coming. We have the president of World Packaging Organization who will be online. We have the president of African Packaging Organization who will be looking at the continent level. The president of WPO will be looking at, uh, at the global 
level, because now we are part of the global system, whether we like it or not, we want to be globally competitive. Then uh, we have uh, FPIC, they will be there to talk about the challenges of fresh produce exporters. Of course, us, we shall also be there to highlight our role as play facilitating and developing packaging skills so that we can become globally competitive, that is IOPPK. We have guys from the European Union, from Europe, from Finland, from Vienna, and uh, 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 they will be talking about the dynamics in the EU, what is, what is happening. And uh, you know, EU is uh, the leading market for Kenyan exports. Almost all of our exports go to EU. Maybe we export like fresh produce almost $2 billion. And there are certain uh, requirements there that by 2025, the packaging must be this. By 2030, the packaging must be this. So if we woke up one day and we are not ready, we don't want to wake up and uh, get ourselves off guard and start firefighting. So this is just starting to raise the consciousness that, uh, guys, these things is happening. Let's do it now, then later. So we have guys from uh, EU. We have guys from UNIDO. UNIDO, UNIDO is committed to industrializing Africa. As part of the agenda is uh, let's feed Africa, industrialize Africa, create opportunities. So now as they try to support Africa in, in terms of industrialization, they wanted to do it sustainably. They don't want to do it unsustainably so that tomorrow they want to invest or to come up with programs uh, that are uh, long term.